G'day guys, Corey here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be working on a water-cooled PC inside the Be Quiet Darkbase 700. We've also got Corsair coming in with an integration of the XD7 new pump reservoir combo. I suppose you could call this kind of like a distro plate. So with that being said, let's go ahead, let's get on into the video. But before we do, please consider subscribing if you enjoy our content like this. It helps us out at no cost to you and we really appreciate it. And specs will also be down in the description.
Thanks for watching guys, I hope you all enjoyed that build video. A few things I wanted to talk about with this Dark Base 700 case. With the case itself, I couldn't actually fit the XD7 pump res combo at the front, and that's because there wasn't enough room for it to fit in. It's not necessarily the case's fault, it could be like either, depend. I mean, you know, they're just, they're just not meant for each other. So I had to actually put it up the top, which means that there's no fans blowing air out the top and exhausting the heat. Basically, the fans from the front are pushing cold air in and it's all exhausting out the back and out through the bottom. Now because of this, this means that I was only limited to being able to use a slim 360 millimeter radiator at the front of the case. Now it's no design fault to the Be Quiet case at all. It's actually a thing where you have to really think about whether you want to use this in a particular case or not because it is going to take up three fan slots. So what I'm thinking is the cases where you've got the three fan slots right next to the motherboard tray, that would be perfect for this distro. It still means you've got your three fans pushing air in, three exhausts, and one exhaust out the back as well. Now apart from that, building inside of the Dark Bay 700 was absolutely fantastic. There's plenty of room to work with. It is such a sleek case, and I really enjoyed the process. The Corsair XD7 made it super easy for me to route all of my tubing, and we actually created a pretty funky loop with this distro plate in mind. So I'm keen to know in the comments what you guys think about this distro plate and the Dark Base 700 case. Thanks for watching guys. Consider hitting that subscribe button if you enjoyed. I'll also leave the specs in the video description if you'd like to check them out more. And if you'd like to help support the channel, Patreon or YouTube channel membership links will be in the description as well. It helps us out to continue doing what we love, which is building custom PCs. So with that being said, thanks for watching and we'll see you all in the next one.